uh, alterations themselves. Then they presented what they had done to us and asked, can you do this? And we said, yes, we can. And we can do it better. So what does Hasselblad have to say about this classic Aldrin picture? Does it look to Jan Lundberg as though the subject was lit? Yes, it, it seems like he's standing in the spotlight. <laughs> and I can't explain that. Um, that, that escapes me. <laughs> Why? So, um, maybe you'll have to find Armstrong and ask him. And how exactly did they pan the camera up to film the liftoff of the ascent module on Apollo 17? How do you think we took the pictures of the liftoff on Apollo 17 with a television camera? How do you think we missed them on Apollo 16 because of the time delay? By the time the guy sent the signal, it was gone and the camera couldn't track fast enough. So on 17, he sent the signal a second and a half or three quarters of a second earlier so that the camera got the signal and we were... How do you think that happened? I've got a book telling me I didn't go to the moon that, that thick, okay? There's a book there when all, you can't see stars in the daytime and the shadows in her office. I don't, give a, I don't give a damn about all that. Remember, too, while the thousands of NASA employees did help them achieve Earth orbit, beyond that, all information fed to the press and public was from the government, and there was no independent reporting. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But is there a smoking gun? Yes, there is. It has to do with the camera shots of the Earth. Hello, Apollo 11. Houston, Goldstone says that the TV looks so great. Over. Okay, uh, right Although it is likely that the astronauts were on the Saturn V rocket when it took off, it seems that they stayed in low Earth orbit for the duration of their missions. This provided them with the zero gravity filming environment, which would be what one would expect on a trip to the moon. They may also have done dives in a KC-135 to get the zero gravity shots. Yet there is one segment that clearly shows the behind-the-scenes chicanery that is going on. At one point, the crew says they are 130,000 miles out, or just halfway to the moon. Hi, Roger. Houston, Apollo 11. Calling in from about 130,000 miles out. And uh, we'll zoom our camera in slowly. They say that they have the camera pointing toward the only window that is facing the Earth. Unfortunately, we only have one uh, window that... Uh, has a view of the Earth, and it's filled up with a TV camera, so uh, your view now is probably better than ours is. Yet you see something come between the camera and the Earth. South America becomes invisible just off beyond the Terminator or inside the shadow. They are caught in a lie right there. Had the camera been in the window as they stated, then nothing should be coming between the camera and the Earth. we should not see any light in the upper left corner of the screen either. Of course, whenever the Earth was clearly seen vanishing behind the window, the view of the Earth was always from a cutaway shot, in which no astronauts were present. Well, that's about all this is reasonable without getting hot and sweaty. Alright, Rock, wake up. In this circumstance, it was probably a globe on the outside of a Mach Command capsule in a studio environment. But in this other video, it is easy to see how a different method of trick photography was used. 
They had placed a transparency over the window to make the window look like the earth. You can actually see a corner of this transparency pulled away from the window when the lights come on. Can't quite make out who that had. That's big Mike Collins there. Well, you got a little bit of... Yeah, hello there, sports fans. You got a little bit of me, plus Neil's in the center couch, and Buzz is doing the camera work this time. Uh, Roger, uh, it's uh, a little dark uh, now, Levin. Uh, maybe a, a cigarette stop might help. This is, what is this? Oh, this is a shot from 130,000 miles out. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I guess it's from moon, approaching, or... the, it's from approaching the moon, looking back at the Earth. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen this on a couple of flights. Is, do, was this something that you got, although this is from Apollo 11, did you shoot a shot of the Earth like this? Mm -hmm. So you had a, a TV camera in the spacecraft. That's correct. And this is, I guess, the Earth zoomed in at a distance. Yep, seems they to be. They get shot a little bit halfway to the moon. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of, now I guess the cloud cover looks That's what you're looking right. at. Now what is that right there? What is what? There's like an arm, it looks like hair on an arm getting in front of the window. Now maybe somebody, maybe <laughs> somebody got their <clears throat> arm in front now of I it. Now I thought that was the arm of God <laughs> moving <laughs> right. across the Earth. I couldn't quite figure that out. I suspect out. that was the edge of the window, more than likely, that they were shooting at. What did the Earth look like from a great distance? There about it is like again, 130,000 miles out. About like that. So it was pretty small at the distance <coughs> of the moon? Yes, but I think the better images are the Hasselblad images that have been taken on every flight and are the most published pictures in the history of the world. What is that in the top left? If that's the Earth, is that like a, another spacecraft? No, oh, no, no, no. That, I have no idea what that is. It's uh, some aberration on the film of some sort. Oh, those are shadows, I think. Or reflections, probably reflections that are just reflecting. Turn that back again so we get another shot of it. If you're going to press me on this, I'm not going to talk to you anymore because I won't pursue this. All of this attempt to say the Apollo programs were fake is just sheer nonsense. And you can talk till hell freezes over and you're wrong. Okay. Well, would you affirm? I won't continue well, on this line. Okay, turn off the camera. Your interview is done. I've given you all the time I'm going to give you. Okay, Dougie. Good to meet you. I don't say it's a pleasure. I understand. Please get your ass out of my house. Okay. And you came here under false pretenses, and I think you're an asshole. Well, and if you continue this, and if you press us, I will personally take you to court. I, I hope that you do. I invite you to. I'm going to give you my card so you can arrange that, and I'm encouraging I, you to you're arrange. Frank, you're frankly not worth it. No, no, I, I, we have you on the record saying you'll take me to court. I hope you do. Because we have proof that would prove it in a court of law that Apollo 11 didn't go to the moon. <laughs> and I think it's something that you should see. I don't say that lightly, believe me. I don't say it lightly. You, you have joking, it, sir. People can have fun. And maybe do that if they feel like they want to have a little fun on a trip to the moon. As an independent producer. Okay, we're heading out. Doing that is against moral ethics. Lying about going to the moon is a satanic lie hey, of gigantic proportions. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you... Well, I'm heading out. I appreciate it. And get the hell out of my house. Do we get a gun and shoot them at them before they get out of the office? <laughs> <laughs> we have a video camera running if you want to do it. Right. I, I, that would be great footage for us. See you later. In court, I hope. Going to call the CIA? Have them whacked. Someone's prompting you. That is why they want to be interviewed. Do you believe in UFOs? Do you believe we've been visited by a... Why do you want to believe this? I know for a fact. I've had this analyzed. And this... 
This is the window, and you're in, in a stage by an atomic clock at the Goldstone tracking station. And it's on the tape. Well, you're That's talking to the wrong guy. Why don't you there? talk to the administrator at NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. We're I, know not... for, I know for a fact. You're in the 